I'm your host, Paige Alicia Lodge. And I am your host, Jax Shields. So, today on DEN, we are going to be discussing exfoliation and eruption patterns. Of your favorite athletes, such as the one to my left, Sidney Crosby. Yes. Go Penguins! So, did you guys know that Sydney, Sydney Crosby got his first milky white at six months of age? Six months, Paige? Is that normal? That is not normal. No wonder he's such a great athlete. He is, he's already enhanced from oh the get-go. That is normal. That is not normal. For most children, it is not exactly at six, but I'm sure it will probably even five and a half for him. Who knows? That's why he's so good. That is why he is so great. So good. Oh, 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 oh. that song always gets me going, you get, know. Gets me going. Yes, I don't even know what to say about that. Okay, well, Jax, today, now, so, we're going to be talking about our Kobe next, Bryant. Yes, our next Tell favorite athlete. Love this guy, he retired last year. Um, his his uh, max lateral incisors uh, erupted at actually the age of 11. Look at those things. 11 months, did you mean? 11 months, yes. And um, if you could go into a little bit of depth about the range that they usually come out of, that'd be great. Well, based on my research, I've found that your top teeth, it's usually about 9 to 13. So, you know, he was there. He was he was there. Some greatness always but is. But the bottom arch mm -hmm. is the 10 to 16. Oh, 10 to 16. So, I'm sure he was still at the 10 range. Yeah, yeah. He was good. The best of the best. He's good. He knows how to ball out. So, so next up here, we're going to be talking about Bryce, the big boy Harper. Paige, that is my boy. No, yes, no I way. swear. Talk, I saw. Tell me about it. I saw him in Vegas once. He looked in my direction. He didn't make eye contact with me or anything. There were a lot of other people, but I swear he looked at me. Did and your heart melt? My heart melted. I was so happy, so excited. Yeah, I'm proud of you, Jack. Thank you. That's Thank pretty you. big. That is. You a, keep that. Yeah. One. He. I told you. Meet him with like this. This. So good. Let me tell you about his mandibular molars I first. would love to hear about that. When baby Bryce first got his, mm -hmm. 16 months of age. 16 months? Is that normal? That is ridiculous. The age range usually ranges from, for the max, it ranges from 13 to 19 months. Mm -hmm. And for the mad, it ranges from 14 to 18 months. Yeah, well, so I mean, he was in that range, I guess. But those those primary molars, they can be sensitive sometimes. They can be. I've heard they have larger pulp chambers. That is correct. And they're also primary. Primary. Primary, always the most sensitive. <sighs> so what else about Bryce? Like, what, what do we need to know about him I party, as an athlete? I party all night with him. He might be next next year's MVP. Most vicious partier? Valuable player. But vicious partier, too. I guess I could see that with him also. I'm called. <laughs> no that is, I know you, Paige. Our next famous athlete is uh, the Shermanators, as some people call them. Shermanators. Sherm, Richard Sherman. Love it. Yes, there is unfortunately some trade rumors surrounding this athlete right now. No. I am, I'm, I can't tell you who my source is, but someone in this building or facility may be quite upset about this. I think I know who you're chatting about. Uh, it might be a specific her. I'm not going to name any names. Rhymes with Marrying? I think so. Yeah. She is she a sweetheart is and she is going to be, she, she might be devastated. The best, this really. The best, <laughs> really. Really, when tell we talk me. about greatness, she is up there with these guys. <laughs> okay, now tell me about him. Tell me about him. Okay, so his canine primary teeth actually came out at 19 months. No way. Yes. Look at way. that smile. Yeah, look at that smile. Who would want to trade this guy? I wouldn't. No. Um, no way. But <laughs> but now for the facts. Yeah, let's hit uh, so them with the So normally, it says here, normally your max canines come in at the 16 to 22 month range. So mm -hmm. he he was there. Mm -hmm. um, and then your your man, so man meaning your bottom arch. Let's mm -hmm. clarify that. Yeah, for, we should you know, make the sure. viewers at home. That's the 17 to 23 months. Mm -hmm. So, that, you know, getting mm -hmm. to that two year mark for those late bloomers. Yeah. We're I, almost we're like almost me. there. I'm a. I'm a late, late bloomer. Late, late bloomer. <laughs> okay, well, I think our next sports sports model up here is, ooh, yes, Jerome McGinley. Yes, another one of my boys. You, you have so many boys. I do. This is Stop back it. when I used to be living in Cowtown, Calgary. Okay. 
at least they have some championships, okay? Unlike those Vancouver Canucks over there. Um, back in 2004, everyone was getting jiggy with Iggy. I'll tell you that much. You too? Well, you know, <laughs> some secrets I don't share, but... Well, I'll uh, talk to you after when the news yeah. break, and then you will bring that back we'll up. We'll discuss. We'll discuss. Um, so the six-year molar is, uh, we need to make sure that we do not neglect this tooth because it is permanent. Yes. You cannot leave it. Absolutely. The only people that lose these teeth usually early are these hockey players. I that have rough hit. sports yeah. and such. such I still have sports. my six-year molar. Do you? I sure do. Okay. And I try to brush it every single day just to make sure that I don't lose it or anything Oh my like that. goodness, Jax. Here, here. <laughs> You're best. I am you're something really else, aren't I? I am Draw your attention else. here, Jax. So right here on Iggy's radiographs, you can see his permanent first molar popping up. It's there. It's erupted. But take a look over here at his primary second premolar. It is just waiting to push that primary tooth out. That is so an awesome what picture. What age did we say this was at? We said it ranges from six to seven years for the max and the man. Okay. Usually it comes in about six years and it's right. called the six year molar. And usually. we need to take care of those. We need to take care of those. That's and something that the dental hygienist should probably, you know, enforce when you go in, right? You must. There's also some other information I guess I'm seeing over there. Let me just put on my reading oh, glasses sure. over here. Yeah. Oh, sure. Um, oh. Says, uh, oh yeah, for the rest of you fans out there, permanent second premolars are replacing the primary second molars, just so you know. And yes, these are my regular reading glasses. I'm just going to sit over here. Cheers. Okay, because we are such a great news uh, conference, um, I would like to point out that some of the information that we may have given you guys on the last clip may not have made sense. So, Paige, could you just correct yourself yeah, on that? Yeah, I would like to just correct myself here. Because, Dan, we're nothing but the facts on Dan. Nothing about the facts. Draw your attention here, guys. So, what we have is the permanent first molar at six years of age. Mm -hmm. So, but what I would like to tell you, this tooth here is the permanent second premolar, which is replacing the primary tooth. Ah, just you keep... tweak that a tiny just, bit. Just yeah. tweak that a little bit. I'm sure some of our people back there can help us out a little bit, but just to make sure that we, that you guys know. Okay guys, let's talk about this guy character. Me, Tom Brady. Some yes. people call him Handsome Tom. Rough Tom. I've never heard that before. Some people call him Goat, but I hate this guy. It's either no. Peyton Man or Tom Brady okay. in this. Okay, come on. Okay, yes. fine. Let's just talk about his dentition. I don't want to talk about this guy Put anymore. that aside. Whoa, look at this. I bet you, uh, this he, you know what? He must be about eight years old here. Do you know how I know? How do you know? Well, as you can see, his front teeth there, they're erupted, they're in, they're, they're hanging. So that comes at about. Do you know, eight to, yeah, seven to eight years old. So those are in, and on the either side, his laterals are coming down. So those normally come down in our teeth at about the eight to nine year mark. So yeah, eight year old Tom right there. It's a good thing we can put our uh, feelings aside and really report the facts. Yeah. That's what we do here at the Facts. And our next athlete, he's not your typical rugged, handsome athlete. But he is one of the best in the game. Yes. Alexander Ovechkin should be in our at least in our honorable mentions. Yeah. Place. Let's highlight that guy. You know, number eight on the ice, number one in my heart. I've been really trying, baby. Okay, would you like to talk about the canine photo? Yeah. So canine. Those, you know, one, two, three. The third one over. The third one over. It's usually the canine. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say here that our boy Alex is, you know, 12 years old, judging by this panoramic image. So what I can see here is that his canines probably erupted, oh, those are about 11 to 12 years on the top arch, okay? okay. And on the bottom arch, those ones probably came in around the 9, 9 to 10 years old. That is very so, interesting. So the bottom's first. The bottom's first, okay. Which might throw some people off. Mm -hmm. Have, now just head back, head back and tell us about those big boys. The big boys that you speak of are mm -hmm. called the uh, second molars. Mm -hmm. The top ones actually erupt around 12 to 13, okay. and the bottoms are out 11 to 13. So again, the bottoms come out before the top. Isn't that interesting, eh? Very interesting. They're right within age though, so they do have malocclusion. Yeah. yeah. 
But yeah, there is a little bit of a difference. And you know what else I've been told about second colors? Mm -hmm. Cats. Yes. Uh, More interesting facts, because that's what we do here. Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, so as you can see, he, Alex, has those wisdom teeth that people get, but oftentimes there'd be none, and, and you're just left with second colors. Like we, wisdoms are not wow. in sight. That happened to me also. Wow. Nailed it. Nailed it. We're so good. We are the best at this. Yeah. 101! Mm -hmm. 102! Three, 103! Guys, what are you doing? We're on air. I told you oh, not to work oh, out on air. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 boss. It's been sorry, a we'll get back to it. Uh, you so, the uh, next uh, one that we have here is uh, Steph Curry. AKA, Baby Face is Athlete. Yes, Kate. I think, I feel like I've face. known that nickname for a very long time. He owns that, that Baby Face, though, right? Yes, he does. So let's talk about the wisdom teeth now for him. Oh, those are really unpredictable, I've heard. Yes, very. Yeah. Why? Why? I wonder. Because they can actually be missing sometimes. They can be impacted. Yeah. They can sometimes only partially erupt in. Not even there. Not even there. Yeah. Like, mine aren't even there. Mine aren't even there either. Like, where are they? I don't know. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, as you can see here, this is this would be someone who is able to fit wisdom teeth or third molars in their mouth nicely, coming up ever so beautifully, just ready to just just get in there. Right, <laughs> I think he's probably right around 21 years old. I hear that this that's what this molar is yeah, usually called, 21 yeah. year molar. That's that's accurate. that's accurate. You see a lot of 21 year old huge cheeks. And that usually right means here. they had to get them out. This guy right here. But yeah. he never had to get them out. He just has huge cheeks. I don't know what happened there. I bet, well, the, you know, this, like, right here, they wouldn't have to get them out. But let's just scroll out and see if we can talk about some that would have to come out. Because they could cause issues. So this one right here, actually, is a prime example. Horizontal. Yeah, that's a bad one. Yeah. So why don't you give some more information about horizontal? Well, what usually happens? You know what? What's going to happen is it's going to grow, it's going to push everything else in the arch, and it's just going to cause crowding, it's going to add pain. What we need to do is get that out of there, which usually means surgery. Surgery, that doesn't yeah. sound very pleasant no, they just, all. Well, you know what? They put you under nowadays. Oh, yeah. not great. Now it just lights out. There, the facts again from us. Lights out. So these ones also can happen, can come up vertically, like we said. Partially erupted, kind of just hanging loose. Still need to get those out mm -hmm. and angled. You want to get that out too. So, wisdom teeth. I think what we can end this session by saying is that they are unpredictable. You never know. Lots of times their roots are fused and it just looks like one. Probably the trickiest teeth, and not usually that helpful either, because you can go on like without even having them in your mouth. Yeah. So, but you know what? It's good to highlight. So, yeah, that's about all we can say about this on TV here. And that is, again, from the Den newsroom. The Den. Wrapping up today's segment of Den, we will have our anomaly section of this presentation for you guys, for our viewing public. We, do we uh, care deeply about you guys? We want you guys to have all the information. So, hey, why don't you take it away here? Thanks, Jax. So, I think it's important uh, that we highlight primate spaces. Primate spaces are severely important because they allow room for your permanent teeth to grow in. So you, those are some things that you just don't want to miss because if you do miss them, there's, there's things that can go wrong. You're kind of done basically. With well, your, with your dentition basically. Yeah. Like, look at what's going on here. Luckily, Jacks are dentists are pretty great today and can really fix these anomalies, but let's just look at a few of them. So as, at the top here, we see some crowding with the maxillary teeth. And, what it looks like to me is macrodontia in a way because those front teeth, they're, they're quite big for that arch. And you might even have a slight overbite there. So yeah, definitely things that can go wrong. Just heading on down to the bottom left here. Look at those double double rows of teeth. That's shark teeth, some might say. Shark teeth. We do love sharks. So day. that also can go wrong. If that does happen, it's a simple extraction really, but Something, something went wrong there, and, and that's that's not normal, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, and then also over here, you got a little bit more of a shark tooth, a little bit more crowding. Um, again, extraction would need to happen 
movement. So, yeah, it's really important that we look after our team. Definitely. We never know what can go wrong. Everyone is unique. Everyone is unique. Everyone, Everyone is, is different. Unique. And again, to point out that you did say that dancers today can help us make yeah. sure that we get rid of any problems that we might have. And how about registered dental hygienists? They aren't they the greatest? They do good work. They do do good work. Yeah. They diagnose or help diagnose you. Not diagnose. Not uh, diagnose. You almost caught me there. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's enough of those anomalies. All right. Thank you so much for watching this hour of dent. Thank you all. Um, I feel like we ran through everything today. Yeah. We got through exfoliation, we got through eruption. I yeah. feel like people were able to get information about all the teeth that they would want for to sure. On. And I learned a ton. Mm -hmm, I learned a lot. So. But you knew so much about sports to start with. So I know. I learned that part. That was happen. the good part. We just love talking about men and, and sports. Yeah, of course. Right? And uh, the correlation part about it is that's always a good thing. Yeah, so thank you viewers. We know there's millions of you out there. I would thank say hundreds, you. I would say hundreds of millions. Of course, yeah. So this is Paige Alicia Lodge reporting, and I'm out. And I am Jack Shields, and I'll see you next week. See you next time.